In the world of heavy engineering, there is a constant battle against the laws of physics. And in that battle, there is only one question that matters. How much can you lift? You are about to see the three heaviest, single, verified lifts ever accomplished in three distinct classes of crane. We're not dealing with what a machine might do, but what it has done. This isn't a simple top 10 list. This is a story of three record holders, a crawler, a vessel, and a gantry. And the difference in weight between them is not just large, it is truly staggering. Let's get into it. Our first stop is the world of crawler cranes. These are the machines you see on the world's biggest land-based projects, their tracks spreading immense loads over the earth. For decades, the title of strongest lift has been a game of inches, a slow creep upwards. That is, until January 2024 at the Zhejiang Petroleum and Chemical New Materials Project in China. The machine was the Zoom Lion ZCC 89000. Its task was to install a slurry bed reactor, a critical component for a new hydrogenation plant. This wasn't a simple lift, it was a record-breaking one. The component itself was a single, monolithic piece, a forged and welded tower standing 67.57 meters tall. That's over 221 feet. Its net weight? 3,037 metric tons. That is 6.7 million pounds. To make this lift possible, the ZCC 89000, itself a 3,600 ton class crane, was equipped with a staggering 3,160 tons of counterweight. As it took the strain, the crane's load moment, the true measure of its power, peaked at 92,800 ton meters. In a slow, perfectly controlled operation, it lifted the 221 foot tall reactor traveled with it and slotted it into place, advancing the project's construction schedule by two months. This lift was certified as a world record for the heaviest single lift by a crawler crane. It is the undisputed, verified champion of land-based mobile lifting. But here is where the story gets complicated, and it's a detail our audience in the industry will appreciate. Why is a 3,037-ton lift the world record? when we all know there are bigger crawlers out there. This introduces us to the Sleeping Giants. Right now, the Sarens SGC-250, better known as Big Carl, is working at the Hinkley Point C nuclear site in the UK. Big Carl has a nameplate capacity of 5,000 metric tons. And it's not alone. Mammut's SK-6000, assembled in 2025, boasts a 6,000 ton capacity. These machines are, on paper, nearly twice as strong as the ZCC-89000. But here is the critical distinction. A crane's capacity is not the same as its record. A crane is only as strong as the lift a client is willing to engineer and pay for. And as of today, no single verified project lift has surpassed the 3,037 tons set by Zoom Lion. The ZCC-89000 holds the crown not because it's the biggest, but because it was the first to be asked to prove it in the field. It's an uneasy throne, with 5,000 and 6,000 ton giants quietly watching from the sidelines. It makes you wonder, is it better to have the proven record or the untapped potential? 3,037 tons is a monumental achievement on solid ground, but it's nothing compared to what happens at sea. This brings us to our second category, the Semi-Submersible Crane Vessel, or SSCV, and to a lift that is difficult to comprehend. We're going to the Danish North Sea, to the Tyra 2 redevelopment project. The Tyra field is a critical piece of Denmark's energy infrastructure, but its decades-old platforms were sinking into the seabed. The solution was a multi-billion dollar project to replace them. The old way of building an offshore platform was agonizing. Lift small, 2,000 ton modules one by one and have hundreds of workers spend months welding them together in the hostile open ocean. Harima Marine contractors proposed a new way. 
a revolutionary, audacious, and incredibly high-risk idea. Build a main processing module, the heart of the entire gas field, on land, in one single, gigantic piece. The payload was the Tyra East G, TEG, gas processing module. It measured 47 meters tall, over 154 feet, and weighed 17,000 metric tons. That is 37 and a half million pounds. It weighed more than five of the Zoom Lion reactors we just saw. It weighed more than two Eiffel Towers. And the machine for the job? The Sleipnir. Named after the eight-legged horse of Norse mythology, Sleipnir is a $1.5 billion marvel of naval engineering. It's 220 meters long, 102 meters wide, and semi-submersible. This means it can flood its massive ballast tanks to lower its hull deep beneath the waves, becoming an incredibly stable platform. It needs to be. On October 4, 2022, Sleipnir was on site, holding its position not with anchors, but with a web of powerful thrusters and swells reportedly reaching 5 meters, or over 16 feet. Its two enormous Hausman-built cranes, each rated for 10,000 tons, began the lift in tandem. This was the heaviest crane lift ever undertaken at sea by a semi-submersible crane vessel. Over 260 offshore workers watched as the 17,000-ton module was lifted from its transport vessel. For six hours, a piece of infrastructure worth hundreds of millions of dollars hung in the air as Sleipnir sailed one nautical mile to the platform jacket, raised the module nine meters higher, and then, with micron-level precision, lowered it onto its six legs. The lift was a perfect success, four days ahead of schedule. It was an emotional pivot point for the entire offshore industry. The tension of the North Sea was met with the innovation of Sleipnir. This single lift proved that the single lift concept was viable at a scale never before imagined, saving years of dangerous offshore hookup work. 17,000 tons a number that seems impossible, but it is still not the heaviest lift of all time. For the all-time world record, we must go to our third and final class, the gantry crane, and to one machine in particular. Welcome to Yantai, Shandong Province, China, and to Taisun. Unlike a crawler, Taisun doesn't move around a site. Unlike an SSCV, it never sees the open ocean. Taisun is a permanent fixture at the Yantai Raffles Shipyard, a 133-meter-tall gate that straddles the world's largest dry dock. It was built for one purpose, to build the world's biggest ships and offshore platforms using a revolutionary method. Instead of building from the ground up, Taisun assembles massive integrated modules on land and then lifts the entire superstructure onto the hull in one move. Its safe working load is 20,000 metric tons. But in 2008, its builders wanted to prove its power and claim the ultimate record. On April 18, 2008, they didn't just find a heavy load, they created one. They took a massive barge and positioned it in the dry dock beneath the crane. Then, they systematically filled it with water, carefully monitoring the weight until it reached a precise, mind-boggling mass. The final number, certified by the Guinness Book of World Records, was 20,133 metric tons. That is 44.38 million pounds. Tysoon's 50,000 meters of wire rope, that's over 31 miles of cable, went taut. Slowly, the crane took the full, unimaginable strain. It lifted the entire water-ballasted barge 30 meters, or nearly 100 feet, into the air, clear out of the water. It held it, and then it set it down. This was the emotional high point, the resolution, a brute force demonstration of power that has remained untouched for over 15 years. It is the official, undisputed heaviest lift in human history. It is a lift that beat Sleipnir's record by 3,000 tons, and the Zoom Lion's record by 17,000 tons. The difference is, indeed, staggering. 
But this leads to one final, thought-provoking question. The record was set in 2008. Why hasn't it been beaten? This brings us back to our open loop and the Cold War of lifting potential. The record books show Tysoon is the champion, but the blueprints tell a different story. The weakest part of this whole narrative is the silence from the machines we know are coming. Let's look at the gantry world. Tysoon's 20,133-ton record is already under threat. The Honghai gantry crane, also in China, was built with a stated capacity of 22,000 metric tons. It reportedly lifts 18,000-ton components in its daily work. It could beat Tysoon's record tomorrow, but it hasn't been required to for a certified record attempt. And what about the crawler world? The 3,037-ton record set by Zoom Lion seems fragile. As we discussed, there are giants in the field. Take Big Carl, the Saren's SGC-250. This crane is an engineering masterpiece in its own right. It's defined by its staggering 250,000-ton meter load moment, allowing it to lift 5,000 tons. Its main boom can extend from 118 meters to 160 meters, and it can be paired with a 100-meter jib, giving it a maximum height of 250 meters. What makes it truly unique is its mobility. The entire crane travels on 6 kilometers of rail at the Hinkley Point C nuclear site moving between three different lift locations to assemble the reactor buildings. It is a linchpin of the entire project, yet its full 5,000-ton potential has not been needed for a single lift. Then, there is its rival, the Mammut SK-6000. This is Mammut's latest innovation in the Ultimate Ring Crane series. Assembled in 2025, it is the largest land-based crane ever built by the company, boasting a 6,000-ton lifting capacity. This machine is designed specifically for the next generation of modular builds in the energy sector. Like Big Carl, it's a ring crane, meaning the crane body rotates around a central fixed ring, giving it immense stability. It is a 6,000-ton monster, a king without a word of fight, sitting in wait for a project that demands its full strength. And at sea, it has gone quiet on the record-breaking front. Sleipnir remains the undisputed champion, and its 17,000-ton lift in 2022 is the current pinnacle of offshore assembly. Other giants like the Saipem 7000, with its 14,000-ton capacity, patrol the oceans, but no one has yet topped Sleipnir's massive lift. So, we are in a strange and fascinating moment in engineering history. We have the 20,133-ton record from Tysoon, we have the 17,000-ton marvel from Sleipnir, and we have the 3,037-ton benchmark from Zoomlion. But we also have at least three machines on Earth right now that could, in theory, shatter these records tomorrow. It proves a final point for those in the know. The heaviest lift in history hasn't been performed by the strongest crane. It was just performed by the first crane that was asked to prove it. The only question left is, which of these sleeping giants will wake up first? Thanks for watching Hard Hat Industries, your source for serious machines doing real work. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Until then, keep your head down and your gear running.